All right, for Algebra 2, uh, this is your review for Algebra 2, um, where it's over sections 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5 oh, and 5.4. I need to... 5.4. Um, it says, what is the degree and the leading coefficient of the following polynomials? Remember the degree. The degree is the number of turns. Number of turns plus one is the degree. Okay? Um, so if you have three turns, the degree is four. It can be higher, but that's the smallest the degree can be. So in this case, number one, you have one, two, three turns, so your degree is four. All right, and the sign, that's the sign of the leading coefficient. Well, remember, if it's headed that way, the leading coefficient is positive, has a positive slope. If it's going that way, it's a negative, so it has a negative slope. So in this case, it's positive because it's going up and to the right. Number two, same idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the degree has to be at least seven or more. All right, and the sign in this case is negative. Why is it negative? Because it's going down and to the right. No, he's out here. Number three, um, last but not least, we have one, two turns in this. So the degree has to be at least three, and it's going up to the right. So the sign is positive. Okay? Uh, number four and number five, same idea, but we're going the other direction. So here we go. Do, 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 do. Discard. Number four and five, it says, describe an, the end behavior of the following functions and give a brief sketch. So, here we go. Oh, I gotta stop this. No, I don't. I'm good. We're good. Um, so, two things. You find your, your leading coefficient, which that's the highest power you've got. You not get over the three. So you have a degree of three, so it can be no more than two turns. And your leading coefficient is positive, so you know it's going up and to the right. Last but not least, we have our y-intercept at negative seven. Remember, that's the one by itself. So we're gonna go uh, one, two. I had two turns, and I went through seven, and it goes up and to the right. Cool. Uh, and the end behavior, this right here is the end behavior. That sort of stuff. It's basically what are the ends doing. So as x increases, it goes to infinity. In this case, y also goes to infinity. Because as x goes that way, y is going also going to infinity. Uh, as x goes to negative infinity, y also goes to negative infinity in this case. Because as x goes to the left, negative, y is also going negative. It's going down. It's the direction the ends are going. Number five, same idea. Find your leading coefficient and your degree, your highest uh, your highest exponent. In this case, it's four, so it has three turns. And it's negative, so it comes from that direction. All right. Find your y-intercept, negative one. And so we need, what, three turns? Uh, we're going to go one... Two, three. All right. Actually, let me point that out. Let me get a little more slender. One, two, three. All right. Oh my goodness! What did I do? That's not three. Mr. Hunter can't count. One, two, three. There we go. That's much better. All right. So it's got the one, two, three turns, so that it can have a degree of four. And since it's a negative co uh, leading coefficient, it's going down to the right. So, end behavior. Again, that's these guys. As x goes to infinity, y is going to negative infinity. So as x goes to the right, y is going down. That's what this is doing. As x goes to negative infinity, y also goes to negative infinity. Because as y is going left, x is going left, y is also going down right there. All right. And that's what's going on, one through five. 